and welcome to my channel. So today I'm actually doing something that I've never done before, surprise, surprise. But if you know me and you know the channel, you know that I'm obsessed with any sort of three ingredient recipe because I'm lazy and I don't want to get too much ingredients and also I don't want to follow too many steps. And usually they're kind of simple to follow. So today I'm going to be making three ingredient Milo ice cream. I've never made ice cream before in my life. So if you don't know, what Milo is. It's a chocolate powder that you put in a drink. I was gonna say powder drink, is that right? It's a drink made from this type of chocolate powder. It's that. It's really tasty, it's really good, and I also really like it because I had it a lot when I was a child. And there's a place in London that we like to go to, and it's called Mama Sons, and they do Milo ice cream there. And obviously, we're not always in London, so I thought if I can make it at home, what a lovely surprise for whenever I'm craving it. So the only thing about this three ingredient recipe is because it was frozen, I had to make sure that it actually froze properly. So it said that you should freeze it for at least six hours or leave it overnight. So I've decided decided to leave overnight. Well, I did decide because the footage that you're about to see I did yesterday to make sure that I could leave it overnight and then I could try it today. Here is the footage of me making it. Hopefully it's fine. So it actually says that we'll need six sachets of Milo powder. So this is 400 grams, and according to this recipe, it says that one sachet is 22 grams. We'll figure that out when we get there. You then need 500 milliliters of all-purpose cream, but I just thought double cream would be the same. If I'm wrong, tell me, but what to do? I have this now. I couldn't find anything that actually said all-purpose cream, so I just thought it would be double cream instead of single cream. And finally, 250 milliliters milliliters of condensed milk. Step number one is to take your all-purpose cream, whatever, and mix it in the bowl until it doubles in size, I think it said. So we need 500 milliliters. This seems like a lot. Oh god. We did it. Let's pour it all in here. Oh my. I'm going to plug in my hand mixer and mix away until it doubles in size, I guess. I'm gonna say this is how it looks in the video. Now that this is done, I need to pour in the condensed milk and then mix until well blended. Will this stay like that? Oh my God, look, it's staying. This is the worst filming I've ever done. Guys, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my. Oh, it's sinking! No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in here and measure out how much I need. Okay, I'm gonna say this is the amount. Wow. Okay, so they literally just mix it all in. And you know what? This is looking very similar to what they had. And then they mix it again with the mixer. That actually looks exactly like what they have. Now we need to add in the Milo. We need six sachets of Milo, which is 22 grams per sachet. 22 times six is 132. So we need 132 grams, which is what in cups or something. 132 grams to cups, 0.56 cups. That does not help me at all. So it says that it would be eight tablespoons and a three quarter tablespoon. Oh my God, I'm like getting stressed out. You know what? I'm just gonna round it up to nine tablespoons. I mean, it'll just be very chocolatey, it's fine. Nine, there we go. Look at that. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. They mix it with a spoon and then they mix it again with the hand mix. And now I have to put it in a container that's gonna be okay in the freezer. And the only thing is, I have all of these. My issue here is if I put it in this big, big one, it's gonna take forever to freeze, right? I'm considering dividing it into these, like smaller ones. This could be a terrible idea, but I'm going with it. Oh my. You know what? I think I've overwhipped this. I'm having a really terrible moment right now where I think I've overwhipped it. Theirs was a little bit runnier. I'm not pleased with myself. I guess this is a life lesson in making your own ice cream. Okay, last but not least, 
It says you can sprinkle on some Milo if you fancied. So you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll make it look a little bit prettier. Do you know what? It doesn't matter if it looks bad. All that matters is the taste, right, everybody? I'm gonna do what they did in the video. They kind of did this kind of like patty thing. Ta-da! So now I'm gonna put the lids on and just leave it in the freezer overnight. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Ta-da, back to present Mitch. The ice cream has officially been in the freezer for 26 hours. So if it's not frozen, something's definitely wrong. I've definitely done something wrong. So there is only one thing left to do and it is to taste it, but also call in Mr. Callum CPK. Ladies and gentlemen, him. <laughs> I was too far away. Hi, I'm here now. Callum hasn't seen any of the footage that you saw, doesn't know anything about the texture that it was or anything like that. Predictions, what do you think's gonna happen? It's going to be perfect. Do you think? That's my prediction. The thing is, I've never made ice cream at home, so I don't know what the texture is gonna be like. And obviously the texture of the ice cream place that we like to go to mm. that has the Milo ice cream, it's so good. It's like perfect. So good. It's literally perfect. But if we could get like half as good as that at home, I'd be happy. True, because technically us buying the three ingredients that went into this ice cream would be cheaper than, obviously, cheaper than us going to London, firstly. If we factor that in. Yeah, but no, <laughs> if we're just talking about the actual price of the ice cream cone itself, I think the ice cream is what, four or five pounds? Something like that. For one. One of these already cost you four pounds, but we actually got it on discount, so it was three because <laughs> it was club card price at Take Tesco. That Tesco. So, you know, but normally this is four pounds. The other two ingredients cost me about a pound. So it's about seven pounds, six pounds, seven pounds, yeah. all in. And we'll get multiple ice cream. It is taste time. Should I take them out of the room? <laughs> you seem so nervous. <laughs> I am. I'm worried that you're so worried. <laughs> I'm super worried. Why, you are the queen of three ingredients. What can possibly go wrong? Everything. They're here. Wow. In my hands. It looks of a Milo color. Right? Look at this. Let's uh, take the cones cone out. out. It actually looks good, right? I don't know if you can see properly. Imagine the whole thing just like- Just slips out. <laughs> the whole thing. Don't bring the whole thing up. She's scooping. I'm trying to get like a really good one like they do at Baskin and Robbins. I would argue you haven't worked at Baskin and Robbins. Oh. Yo. <laughs> I guess because it is super frozen. Just a couple balls of ice cream. Hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's wild. <laughs> just dumping it on, huh? Imagine you go to like a really nice ice cream parlor and they're like, there you go. <laughs> yeah, just chuck, chuck two lumps on it, there you go. Five pounds, please. <laughs> okay, Take are you ready? Cheers. 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 Three, two, one. Oh my God. Hold up. Yeah, five pounds, please. That's so good. Oh God. Wait, I did it. I actually did it. It's Wait. so good. It's so creamy. It actually tastes the same. I'm so impressed. It's really good. So now I know all they do is whack Milo <laughs> some cream and- All they do is a three ingredient recipe. We should start an ice cream company. True. Mitchy Cones. Instead of Michiko. Nice. Mitchy Cones. That's a clever name, Mitchy Cones. Thank you. The ice cream's at that point where I could have made like a really beautiful cone. Yeah. Because it's like slightly melted, but you know what? We're not patient at all. No. You know, I already waited 26 hours for this. True. So of course I wanted to actually show you what it looked like once it melted a little bit and then I could get a really nice pretty scoop. It all turned out pretty good. I mean, look at that. That looks unreal. At the place we go to, it's like four or five pounds for the ice cream cone. Mm. If you want a tub to take home, like an ice mm. cream tub, that's 10 pounds. Mm. Like a big tub. Like a big tub. So probably what the size? Like a, no, what, Ben and Jerry's size. Yeah, it's tub. like a Ben and Jerry size. So that's ten pounds. So I thought I'd actually get the right calculations of what it actually cost me to make this ice cream. Like I said, when we got the Milo, it definitely was on club card price. So it was three pounds instead of four. I'm pretty sure we also paid one pound twenty for the condensed milk because it was also on offer at Tesco. And then the double cream was two pounds. So in total, if we're going by this, this is seven pounds. 50. This is still better than buying a pint of ice cream at the ice cream place because that is 10 pounds and obviously with this Yeah, I could only use the condensed milk and the cream once but I have enough Milo now to make me loads of batches So it actually works out really well now that I understand that clearly you just need double cream and condensed milk 
plus something else, I might think of something else to make ice cream with. True. You know? What else should we put in ice cream, guys? Yeah. Leave it in the comments. Leave me a comment of like what ice cream you want us to make. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and make it. Oh my god, we should try to do like really weird ones like cheese and jelly beans. Michiko's crazy ice cream flavors episode. Yeah. One. Oh my god, we should we should do like a series called like Willa Ice Cream. We try to see like what would taste good in ice cream. Leave us a comment if we should do it or tell us like crazy things that you want to see in ice cream. Mm. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm actually really happy it ended up much better than I expected. If you've ever tried making ice cream at home or do you have an ice cream machine? Cause you know, we've True. all seen those, but mm. I don't think I eat enough ice cream to need a machine. We can't justify it, I don't no, think. No, no we can't. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. And if you're new, please don't forget to sub. And until next time, I will see you and I see you.